For starters, the ledger is an accounting book used to maintain proper records of business transactions. So let's go straight into the three kinds of ledgers. We have the general ledger like I had mentioned earlier. The general ledger is simply a ledger that contains accounts relating to the owner of the business and other normal transactions. Then the sales ledger or what we call the receivables ledger is used to maintain personal accounts of all accounts receivable. And by accounts receivable, I'm talking about the debtors. Now, for those that don't appreciate the meaning of receivables or debtors, let me shed more light on this. If you own a shop and one of your customers comes to buy but they promise to pay at a later date, this means in your books of accounts that customer is considered a debtor. Debtors are considered assets and so are also considered accounts receivable. So away from that, let's now uh, look at what we mean by a purchases ledger or call it a payables ledger. A purchases ledger or a payables ledger is used to maintain the personal accounts of all accounts payable. Again, I'll use an illustration for those that are hearing these things for the first time. If you own a shop that sells merchandise and your suppliers give you goods on credit, it means you're supposed to pay back. And so in your books of accounts, this kind of pers person is recorded in your books as a creditor. And because you owe them money, creditors are also referred to as accounts payable because you are liable to pay them money for them having supplied goods to you on credit.